Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Sophie. So today I'm creating this pink and gold cut crease makeup look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is priming my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair. And this has been my favorite way to prime my eyelids for quite a long time now. Before this, I was using MAC Paint Pot, but I love using concealer just because it applies a nice, even coverage. And I do also set it with some translucent powder. And then for my brow bone highlights, I'm using my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13. And then I'm going into my ColourPop My Little Pony palette. And I'm going into this kind of dusty rose shade here. And I'm going to be applying this in the crease. And I'm just like messily applying it uh, into my crease and kind of feathering it outward. Um, I'm going to be doing more of a cat eye effect for this look. So I am kind of winging it out. And then the next palette that I'm using is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. And I'm using this pinkish maroonish shade and I'm picking up an angled brush and I'm gonna start to carve the crease and I am doing kind of a wing on my crease and a good tip for this is to start in the center of your lid and then work your way to the inner and outer corner and that will really ensure that you have a nice even line when you're doing that and then I just picked up a little bit more of that Dusty Rose shade from our previous palette and I'm using that to help me diffuse this color and I do those two steps once or twice I just wanted to speed up the process for you guys but that's how I get a nice defined crease but still blended at the same time next I'm picking up this dark purple shade from the same Morphe palette and I'm using this angled brush from ColourPop and I'm using this to kind of add even more dimension underneath that um, line that we previously applied. And for this step, you want to use the most precise um, eyeliner brush that you have. You want this line to be very thin, that way you have control over the product and you can keep it fairly low. And then I'm going back into the maroon shade and a pencil brush. And I'm just going in left and right motions. You don't want to drag this upward at all. I'm literally going in left and right motions directly over that line. And that's the best way to blend out really dark colors in the crease in my opinion. Anything that's small, like any small brush that you have will do the trick. You just want to make sure that you have complete control over that eyeshadow. You don't want it to go too high into the crease. And then I'm picking up a slightly fluffier brush and kind of diffusing that outer corner and just making sure that everything's nice and blended. Next thing I'm doing is picking up my ABH concealer angled brush. Well, at least I use it for concealer, but I'm using this brush to really get that crisp line. Um, you're going to want to use any defined brush that you have for that step just to get a really, really nice cut crease. And then I'm going into the gold shade from my My Little Pony palette from ColourPop. And I'm just applying that all over my lid. And then I'm picking up the Dusty Rose shade and I'm just starting to diffuse that on the outer corner. I'm going to start to add depth to my outer wing. I wanted my wing to be really smoky, so that's what I'm doing for today's look. And then I'm going into that darker maroon pink shade and I'm just starting to create my smoky wing on the outer corner and I'm just doing dabbing motions to try to get the most color payoff um, and slowly layering this product on the outer corner. And then in between every step I'm picking up this pencil brush and just really making sure that everything's really blended. Um, if you really want a really defined blended look, you have to really blend it out and it's really time consuming, but it's really worth it. Then I just picked up the darker maroon shade once again and I'm just starting to pack that on the outer corner to add more dimension. And then I picked up the black eyeshadow in that same palette and I'm just starting to buff that onto the lash line. And I did pick up more of that maroon shade to diffuse that line. Then I went in with my wing liner by The Balm and I just pretty much lined my top lash line and then I applied some black eyeshadow to 
attach it to the outer wing. Then I went in with the same angled brush and I applied some glitter glue and some glitter to the inner half of my lid. And then for lashes today, I'm using my Shop Sophie Bell lashes in the style Jamaica. And then for my waterline, I'm going into my Mr. Right eyeliner by The Balm. And then for my lower lash line, I'm pretty much using the same shades that I used in my crease. So first, the Dusty Maroon shade by ColourPop. And then the darker maroon shade in my Morphe palette. Then I'm going into that same dark maroon shade in my Morphe palette and I'm just applying that as close to the lower lash line as possible. And then I'm just going to finish off this look with some mascara. The one that I'm using is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then for my inner tear duct and for my brow bone, I'm using my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder number 13. And then the last thing I did was I ran my spoolie through some bar soap and I'm just running that through my brows and I've been loving this technique in my looks. It just really adds a natural looking brow. And this is the finished tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and also we're about to pick our winner for our giveaway so if you haven't watched our declutter video and entered our giveaway. Go ahead and do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.